where we have concerns with India, whether it comes to issues related to the very watch list that you're describing or otherwise, we make those concerns clear. India is not Russia, and China has its own set of challenges that we deal with in its own context. Of course, there's going to be differences in how we deal with countries one by one. But the idea, the North Star of this administration is, if you represent a threat to the American people's security, prosperity, or basic sense of fairness, we will take action to defend that. You laid out how, how the president's been standing up to Russia through action, but when it comes to India and China, the president's largely given them a pass for their aggressions as well as the economic support they're giving to Russia. Why is that? What, what do you mean by aggression? Uh, well, so, for instance, India, um, they've made a deal with, well, economic aggression, I guess. Eight, they made a deal with 18 countries to not use dollars to trade in. Um, India has, is on a U.S. watch list for intellectual property theft of U.S. companies. Um, India has been, is part of BRICS. Um, and so, so that's what I'm talking about with India, with China, the aggression, the hacking that they've done, the spy balloons, as well as their intellectual property issues. I mean, first of all, we've stood up over, I, I'm not sure if your question is about Ukraine or just about other things it's generically and so forth. I mean, why, why are we seeing the same kind of actions um, standing up against China and India? I mean, we've taken a variety of actions to protect America's national security vis-a-vis -vis threats from the PRC. Uh, you know, we have an entire strategy with respect to our technology export controls to make sure that American technology cannot be used against us. President Biden, in fact, is the first person to take some of those steps. No previous administration has done so. And where we have concerns with India, whether it comes to issues related to the very watch list that you're describing or otherwise, we make those concerns clear and we defend U.S. interests, as we do with every country in the world. Now, India is not Russia. And China has its own set of challenges that we deal with in its own context. So, of course, there's going to be differences in how we deal with countries one by one. But the idea, the North Star of this administration is, if you represent a threat to the American people's security, prosperity, or basic sense of fairness, we will take action to defend that. I think our record on that across multiple countries, including the ones you've mentioned, is quite clear over the last two and a half years.